Da, 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 da. What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research and QuantumGravityResearch.org. Uh, that's RWGResearch.com by the way. So check it out. Zero Fossil Fuel has challenged me into designing, building, and printing him some gears. And so I am currently printing some gears and this is what I've come up with. He wants a 7 uh, or a 3 to 1 ratio. So these are the gears that I have drawn. And I am actually currently going to be printing a bunch more, but I wanted to test something. So, over here, I have a test set up. And uh, we're going to see how fast these gears can run. So let me get you a close-up. See if the light will change. This is a test, some test gears. I'm going to get you at the angle. So you can see through the gears. Now this is not on a bearing, this is just on a drill bit, so... Alright, so that's pretty good. There's a tiny bit of play here, I can bring the lathe in and kind of close up that gap. Concerned about my printer not printing perfectly round, so um, since it's triangulation, there is some tiny bit of slop in the rounded, the rounded, how you pronounce it, the 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 the, the round being perfectly round. Uh, one of that causes has to do with one of the gears in my printer is actually not perfect, um, and I never replaced it. It's all I had. I will eventually, but I haven't yet. So here's what I'm gonna do. That was 200. No, that was 200 RPM. So let's bring it to uh, 270 RPM. And I'm just going to keep bringing it up. Alright, this is 270. Oh, gear, there we go. Alright, so eventually the plastic's going to get hot on this drill bit. Because um, it is just sitting on there. So, let's go up even more. Let's go to 360. Uh, there we go. So this will be 360. Still good. Let's go to, uh, oh, let's see, 600. That would be 3. See. Alright, here we go. <laughs> uh, well, looks like I need to redo that. Let me get this set back up. Alright. Let's try this again. A little loose for the start. This is uh, six six hundred RPM. Not bad. All right, so let's go some more. Let's go to eight hundred. Here's eight hundred. That's pretty smooth. It's gonna burn up though. It's gonna burn up the plastic eventually on here, but let's keep going. That's 800, let's go to 1000. Let's see. Here we go, 1000.
pretty good. Let's keep going. Um, let's see, 1400 is as high as we can go, actually. So, this is 1400 RPM. <laughs> Now, it's definitely uh, melting some plastic. Let's bring it in a little more, a little bit tighter. There we go. It's only melting because it's being forced against the back side. Let's put a let's put a shim. In. I'm going to put a nylon washer on here, and then this gear. Let's try it again. Alright. There we Alright, let's do another test. Alright, so this is the paper test. I'm going to be sticking a piece of paper in the gears at 70 RPM and seeing what happens. to apply some pressure to the little gear and just see how much torque we can get out of it. I don't have a good way of checking torque but I'm just going to apply pressure right here with this wrench. Alright, we'll see what happens. Alright, so I, I, I applied enough pressure to put a pretty good ream on the outside of that plastic so I think we're good there um, let's see if we can mesh the gears at high speed like to so let's try why not 1400 right we're gonna do the experiment let's do it for real meshing gears at 1400 rpm <laughs> So I'm going to actually turn this on and let it run for a while and uh, just see how long these little gears will last, even at this high speed. Here we go. Well, that was long enough. 
Um, I think these will do just perfect for a uh, for an experimental tests. But one more test I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to stick a piece of metal in here to see what happens. I want to see if something breaks. I want to see how strong the gears really are. Alright, so I decided that I'm going to use a piece of plastic filament here instead of a piece of metal to start out with because if I use a piece of metal, well, that's just stupid. It's not a good idea at all to be doing this uh, for safety reasons, so I'm going to just be using uh, a piece of plastic. I'm going to be far enough away not to get injured here. So let's do it at uh, 70 RPM so we can see what's actually going on. Get it here. There we go. There we go. So, here we go. Alright. I'm going to mesh the gears together because I think it's actually moving my uh, drill bit around. So they're really close now. Oh, spin. Yeah. All right, so let's try it at a little bit higher RPM. Let's just go to eight hundred. Well, it's a pretty good test. I've finally adjusted this. I could put uh, something in there. Let me do that. Alright, so I stuck a bolt in here, so it cannot turn any longer. Um, so I'm trying to break stuff now. Well, I've managed to shred my plastic, and this big gear looks fine. Uh, the little gear definitely has some uh, some issues, but I did not break a tooth off of there. All the tooth, all the teeth are still on. That's a pretty good test right there. There you go, zero fossil fuel. Challenge accepted and approved. Everything is good to go. Um, the tests worked out well. I was very concerned about how small the teeth are on here, but uh, as you can see from those tests that I just did, um, I don't think you're going to be doing any, any worse than that. Now, I did design these on my own. It was a pain in the butt. I've never designed gears in SketchUp. There's a gears plug-in, but they only do flat gears. So I had to manipulate the gears to turn them into this style. Um, now, Zero ri originally thought about doing a crown gear here with just a regular straight gear here, which would have maybe been easier, maybe not. Probably not, actually. So I did it this way, thinking that there'd be less friction this way and be an easier way to do it. But one thing I did is I draw these up at a 45 degree angle and they would not mesh in SketchUp. And I played with it and played with it and played with it until I finally figured out this angle is a lot steeper than this angle. I don't, not, I don't know the ratio, but it's not 45 to 45. It's actually like half 45 here and then that added on to this gear. Um, so you can actually see that the angles are not a 45 degree angle. So keep that in mind if you design your own gears like this. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that little demo test of printed plastic gears. Currently, uh, 
in the process of printing more of these for zero and they'll be out the door buddy <clears throat> I accepted this challenge only yesterday during the morning and today I have fully finished working prototype gears which I can ship out today it does not take uh, this one is at 20 minutes to print this little gear and less than an hour to print this gear so there you go Peace and love you all. Have a good day. If you have no idea who I'm talking about, Zero Fossil Fuel, Mark, uh, that's Alt Energy, Alt N, A L T dash I N G uh, dot O R G. I could have that wrong. I'll probably end up placing uh, something uh, right here that's probably accurate. Anyway, all right. Peace and love you guys. Have a good day. I'm looking forward to see the ex experiment, Zero. Poke my own eye out with my own safety glasses. Did you see that? So it better work. Peace.